Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Sunday, February 12th. It's 2023. It's 5.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my Coping with Schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today's not been too bad. The weather was kind of nice outside. I went out for my walk and my physical therapy exercises. Um, I uh, did some work on my computer. I do consumer surveys for extra money um, online. Uh, I'm making this video as part of my daily schedule. I already um, meditated twice today, and I'm going to meditate again in a little while. Um, I'm seeing my therapist this Wednesday on the 25th. And I believe I'm seeing my psychiatrist the following week after that. Um, the last time I saw my psychiatrist, we did not change any of my medications. Um, he did ask me if I wanted to add 5 milligrams of Zyprexa to my daily schedule. And I said no, because the Zyprexa seems to cause urinary retention where I end up having to go to the emergency room and have a urinary catheter put in because I can't urinate, which can be a medical emergency if it goes on for several hours. Um, I certainly have a history of that. And the last two times that I had urinary retention, it seems to have stopped when we lowered the dose of the Zyprexa. So I told my psychiatrist that I don't see any reason to increase my Zyprexa, it is true that my delusions and paranoia tend to get worse and then get better and get worse again. My psychiatrist wanted to increase the Zyprexa to help me deal with the delusions and the paranoia and the auditory hallucinations or at least their intensity um, of how loud I hear those voices. Um, but I'm afraid of the urinary retention, so I told my psychiatrist we didn't need to make any changes in my medications. Um, today is February 12th. On March 28th, next month, I am seeing a pulmonary specialist because I've been diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. Um, I will be going in for a certain kind of test that involves testing the strength of my breath and lungs by blowing into some sort of machine. And then I will be talking to the specialist right after that on March 28th. So I got two appointments for the same reason. Pulmonary fibrosis is when um, scar tissue develops in the lungs, the air sacs of the lungs, making it more difficult to breathe because oxygen and carbon dioxide are not easily exchanged in the lungs where the scar tissue has developed. We're not sure what caused my scar tissue in my lungs. Um, usually it's caused by some, some sort of chemical irritant or a drug like chemotherapy used in cancer treatment. But I don't have cancer and I've never had chemotherapy, so that's not the cause of it. Um, I'm not sure how bad the scarring is in my lungs. It showed up on an abdominal scan that I had for a different reason. They were checking me for internal bleeding. They didn't find internal bleeding, but they did catch a part of my lungs that has the pulmonary fibrosis. It may or may not get worse. I may or may not have a long lifespan because of it. I don't know. I'm 57, and I just don't know anything about how advanced by pulmonary fibrosis is. It's not cancer. It's not the same thing as emphysema. Um, the scar tissue only spreads if the chemical irritant that's causing the irritation is ongoing. Um, I stopped cleaning my apartment with Clorox because I was thinking maybe breathing in accidentally the fumes of Clorox bleach when I'm cleaning my apartment may in fact be what damaged my lungs. Um, I suppose it's possible that cigarette smoking caused it, but I haven't had a cigarette in 13 months, and I didn't have anything 
show up on my lung scan a year ago. It was done to pre-screen for lung cancer. They didn't find any cancer. They also didn't find any pulmonary fibrosis. That didn't come until a few months ago when I had that abdominal scan. So I'm not sure what's going on. And as far as my psychiatric symptoms say, they're not that bad. They're pretty much under control. I'm just sticking to my daily schedule and coping as best as I can. Like, comment, share, subscribe.